Linda Stare and Lucille Ball to Bob Hope and Debbie Reynolds. The book Hollywood Heyday is 75 interviews with Golden Age legends telling the story of two Minnesota teenagers and their trip from St. Paul to Los Angeles in the late 70s to interview some of the legends of Hollywood. How about that? It is written by those one-time teens, Tom Johnson and David Fantle. And here they are, just a few few years later. Right? Where have the years gone? Right? I know, it right. passes by. Got a lot of gray here. Um, thank you guys for coming oh, by. Pleasure. Thank it's you. great to be home in the Twin Cities. Yeah. Yes, right. yeah, it's great to have you guys back. Um, I mean, what a story. Can I start us from the, the beginning? How did you end up on these trips? Well, so when Tom and I first saw That's Entertainment in 1974 yeah. in St. Paul, we were 15 years old, and we sort of fell in love with the golden age of Hollywood. Mm -hmm. Then we started seeing these films in their entirety by bringing them to Twin Cities area nursing homes, and we called this Films on Wheels. Mm -hmm. We then had some articles written about Films on Wheels, and we started a two-year correspondence with the hope of seeing Fred Astaire and Gene Kelly because many golden age stars were in their golden years, but no. they were still very much with us. And to our astonishment, in 1978, 40 years ago, just before we graduated from Highland Park High School, we got letters consenting to see us from Astaire and Kelly. Wow. Tom and I, 40 years ago, made that first trip to Los Angeles, couldn't rent a car, we were 18 years old, <laughs> yeah. and we were soon gonna start at the University of Minnesota. And Fred Astaire and Gene Kelly were so revered, they opened up the interview gates for over 200 celebrities yeah. that followed. They were Incredible. really, yeah, Fred Astaire in particular was the Willy Wonka golden ticket. I yeah. mean, he was so universally revered that people even like James Cagney, who wasn't seeing anyone, said, I'll see you if Freddie saw you. What was it like for you to be at that age sitting in front of these incredible legends and, and talking to them? Were you nervous? Well, we, yeah, we, we actually were. bought our first suits, you know, okay. for those interviews, because we wanted to give them the respect that they we thought they deserved. But like in the case of Fred Astaire, it's like you're sitting with your grandfather. You're not really realizing that you're sitting with the greatest dancer in the history of film, uh -huh. and he was so unassuming. But yeah, there was a little bit of nerves as we were getting going on some of these stars. And we're looking at some photos here. Mm -hmm. Are these photos that you guys took? Yeah, we took yes, all yes. the photos. Oh so most God. of the yeah. photos in Hollywood heyday were all the candid photos yeah, that candid we took. Snapshots. Very rare stuff that. Um, has seldom been seen before. There's mm -hmm. Debbie Reynolds. Wow. Um, yeah, some great uh, opportunities. So, Uncle Milty is on the screen right now. Yeah. yeah, so you have the book now that is out. Mm -hmm. uh, where can people find it, first of all? Well, we tell them go to Amazon.com, BarnesandNoble.com, and, Noble .com, and uh, it's available all over the place. Uh, yeah. What was it like putting it all down <laughs> on, on paper and really putting this thing together? Well, it took 40 years from when we <laughs> yeah. started, but it was an intense maybe three-year effort. The last three years was when we really went back to tapes, we went back to transcripts, and we went back even to the correspondence. So it's it's they are so more comprehensive than maybe when they came out as articles yeah. initially. They're three, four thousand word stories, most of them. We have like 30 seconds left, mm -hmm. but is there like a nugget of information from these interviews that really sticks with you to this day? Maybe something that somebody said to you guys? Well, I mean, Lucille Ball, not funny, tough as nails. Yeah. Um, uh, uh, go ahead. Give well, me uh, Freddie DeCordova, producer of The Tonight Show with Johnny Carson, said it's impossible totally to make it in show business, but someone does it every day. Isn't for the, amazing? Yeah, so for those young people watching yeah. who want to go to Hollywood. Keep I doing love it. Yeah, That's keep so trying. great. Well, thanks for coming by, you guys. Well, You're here you. for your high school reunion. High school, yes. Highland Park, class of 78. You don't have go too much shots. fun. We won't. Okay. okay. Yeah, Thank great you. to see you guys. <laughs> uh, more details about the book can be found at care11.com under the news at four page. We will be right back, everybody.